What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Friday, June 24th, 2022. It's about 5 o'clock p.m. It's 88 Fahrenheit, 31 Celsius. I'll be giving you a tour of Miami International Airport today. Miami International Airport, the largest airport in the region. Right now I'm at door one, American Airlines. I haven't really been uh, to this airport too much. The last time I was here, I just got off my flight and I exited the door quickly. But I guess today we'll find out exactly how large this airport really is. Since this is a international airport, I expect it to be pretty large. Now, uh, since I do not have a ticket to board a flight, I cannot go past security. There are so many people here at the airport. Even in the airport itself, for American Airlines, there's so many different sections. From my understanding too, this airport, it wraps around to the other side. So it's kind of like a semicircle where all the airlines go. Look at this. They have flights going everywhere from Atlanta, Bogota, Cancun, Chicago, Guatemala, even uh, to Europe, Madrid, London Heathrow, New York JFK. I uh, do not see any flights going to Asia though, which is interesting. I guess they don't run flights to Asia here. I see Poland, Warsaw. For flights to Asia, I'm assuming that this airport has to uh, connect you to a different flight. You see, I told you it's a semicircle. I have to go all the way to J. This has to be one of the busiest airports I've ever experienced. I don't know if it's uh, because of the travel season or maybe that's just the way this airport's designed, but there are a lot of uh, check-in areas, checkpoints. That's to be expected with an uh, airport. ground transportation is available here. Now, uh, just for reference, if you were to get a Uber from here to downtown Miami, it's about $19 as of today's prices, but who knows what it'll be in the future. And if you were going to South Beach, it'll be about $30. You know what really strikes me is the lack of seating here in the departure section. It's a very short distance from the doors to the check-in area. 
but they should have some benches for people to sit. I mean, uh, I'm looking, there's really nowhere. And I saw Starbucks over there, which is good. And I'm assuming that more of the uh, food options are past security. Here's security, TSA. And this is still American Airlines. I guess uh, after this section will be a different airline. Looks like over here there's a, uh, a wall dedicated to the armed forces. U.S. Army, Marine Corps, Air Force, Navy, and the Coast Guard. It's noticeably quiet on this side. We made pretty good progress already. Looks like we're a third of the way around the airport. And uh, seems like there's three different sections. There's the North Terminal Central and the South. So this is the North side. Maybe the other sections have flights going to Asia or other destinations. Over here, you can get the MI8 mover, which is a people mover to the uh, airport railroad station. You can get long distance trains there as well as trains to uh, other parts of Miami-Dade County. And that um, people mover is completely free to ride. I may do a video later how to get from here to South Beach for 225. I don't know how many people will be interested in watching that video, but it's cheaper than spending $30 for an Uber, although it's longer. And what do we have here now? Concourse D, and it uh, looks like there's another section of the airport that goes around. Kentucky Fried Chicken, but they're not open. Central Terminal. Let's see uh, which airlines this hosts. Looks like this is Qatar Airways. Chef Creole. Actually pretty good prices. $7.99 for a burger, $8.99 for a fish filet. The subway is open 24 hours. So I like it over here that there's a lot more food options. In the American Airlines terminal, the North Terminal section, 
it seemed like there was only Starbucks. But if you want your food options and your seating, you have it here. Why can't the North Terminal have the seating also? The Central Terminal does a much better job. Well, there's an airport hotel here. Miami International Airport Hotel. I wonder where the rooms are though. How would they uh, host people? Oh, it looks like there's elevators and it goes upstairs to all the rooms. That's pretty nice. And uh, this is uh, Margaritaville, Air Margaritaville. There's also uh, JetBlue in the central terminal. And this is only the um, departures hall, by the way. The arrivals area is downstairs. That's where the baggage claim is and um, another section. There's Royal Air Morocco, Cayman Airways. Definitely a lot more space. More food options here. Oh wow, look at this. There's Versailles restaurant here, which is the most famous Cuban restaurant in the United States. Cafe Versailles. $1.65 for Cuban pastries. $2.85 for empanadas. Another section there. Sounds like something's wrong in this section at Air Europa. Let's see. Uh, if there's any change in the destinations. I still don't see any planes going to Asia here. It's probably too far of a flight. Lots of seating options here.
United Airlines. I think I should be uh, heading towards a different part of the airport soon, the South Terminal. Chili's restaurant. There's also an Italian restaurant there. Southwest Airlines. Looks like the uh, We've changed terminals now. This is the south section. going on over here there's a escalator system okay so uh, looks like parking is upstairs as well as international rivals J this is really nice I love the mural also look at the ceiling there's some balloons stuck That's a really nice passageway to the parking area. <laughs> Definitely the nicest section of the airport that I've seen so far. I'm really impressed with this section. I guess they really want to make an impact on the international visitors compared to the domestic visitors, which uh, I don't know, maybe it's right, maybe it's not right, but I think all of the airports should look similar to this. That's a really nice, uh, colorful display there. I guess we'll go back downstairs.
there are no working escalators here, so I need to walk down. This might be the southern end of the airport. Unless I can go over there. By the way, these luggage carts are not free. You have to pay for them. Yep, there's a lot more here. Oh look, there's a bus station here too. That's a camera? Yeah, it is. It's nice. Yeah, thank you. A nice airport. Turkish Airlines. Looks like we're almost finished. So far, this is by far my most favorite area of the airport. Just due to how spacious it is and the artwork. But the central terminal, the uh, yellow section, it had the most food though. Also, the most seating. Let's uh, go to the bus station because um, there's no more airport to see in this side. I'm curious what they have here. I doubt these are really long distance buses. They're just the local buses that go to uh, different parts of uh, the county. Before I uh, continue on, I want to show you a little bit of the uh, concourse area. The section I completely skipped out on. Good selection of vending machines. I see a baggage claim for some airline over here. I guess these are all the bags that didn't make it and did not connect to their owner. Air Canada and Spirit Airlines uh, lost some luggage, I think. And this is pretty much, I guess, this entire bottom section. 
it's all going to look like this all around to the first section I went to. Oh, I see. This is the South bus station. Looks like you do have long distance buses here. Probably like Academy, Greyhound. Well, it's nice that the airport has all this space for the bus station. It's really convenient. It's also $8 for the luggage car. I just saw the price. Pretty ridiculous. All right, folks, I'm going to wrap up my video here of Miami International Airport. If you enjoyed this video, then smash the like button, subscribe for some more videos like these, and I will see you later. Bye bye.